हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेव डॉक्टर रचना पाठक असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ नकलो द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डे लेक्चर इज अप्लीकेशन ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रेशन एंड ट्रिपल इंटीग्रेशन फॉर सॉल्विंग द फॉर फाइंडिंग द एरियाज एंड वैल्यूज इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी हाउ टू फाइंड द एरिया विद द हेल्प ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रेशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल फाइंड the a value with this with the help of table integration firstly know what is a table integration with table integration what the value v of three dimension region is given by v table integration sign dx dy dz if the area region is bounded by z square to f1 xy z square to f2 xy y square to phi1 x y square to phi2 x and x square to a to b we always remember here one limit is constant other is another function and third is the function of both here z is a function of x y and y is a function of x and x uh, the limit x is a constant the order of this limits is also changed according to the question here v goes to the sequence z dy dx and the limits for z is f1 xy2 f2 and limit of y is phi1 phi2 and limit for x is a to b the order of integration may be changed with this to be changed in the limits of integration we see how to find the value with triple integration in cartesian coordinates if the coordinates is different how to solve it in cylindrical coordinates we have v is got to triple integration r d r d phi d z in spherical coordinate polar coordinates we have integration for uh, is integration r square sin theta d r d theta d phi in this lecture we will study how to find a value with the help of triple integration in cartesian coordinates and we also use polar coordinate in x y plane so goes with the example there is a first example calculate the volume of the solid bonded by the surface s cut to 0 y is cut to 0 x plus y plus z is cut to 1 and z is cut to 0 first write the integrations form this is the integrations and the dz dy and dx first question arises in the student why how to find the limits corresponding to z y and x so we can see here the lower limit is also given s cut to 0 y cut to 0 and z cut to 0 how to find the upper limit for the z y and x we have the relation given this is relation we use this relation and find the upper limit here the relation is given that x plus y plus z is cut to 1 The limit is z is z is equal to one minus x minus y is the upper limit for z. If we find the upper limit of y, put z is equal to zero in this relation. We have the relation is x plus y is equal to one. Y is equal to one minus x, which is the upper limit of y. If how to find the limit of x, we put y plus y and z is also zero. y is equal to zero and z is equal to zero in the relation we get x is equal to one so the limits are zero to one zero to one minus x zero to one minus x minus y dz dy dx this is the integration we have always remember that is the limit in the form of x y there is a function limits in the form of x y so we have three variables x y z and limit in x y so we integrate this integration with respect to z firstly if the limits in the form of y z we integrate this limit with this integration with respect to x if the limit in the function of y, uh, y z we integrate this integration with respect to y so here the limits in the function of x y so we integrate with respect to z firstly we have 1 minus x minus y is the put the limits here we have this result 0 to 1 0 to 1 minus x so we have remaining two variables dy and dx and we see here the limits in the function of x so we integrate this integration with respect to y firstly there is this 1 minus x y minus y square by 2 and put the limits we get we have remaining only one variable 
and we get integrate with respect to x only and put the limit we get the required result. This is example first and we goes to the second example. A triangular prism is formed by a plane whose equations are a y equal to b x, y is equal to 0 and x is equal to a. Find the volume of the prism between the planes z is equal to 0 and the surface z equal to c plus x y. In this question we want to find the volume. So, integrations first write the integration. First step is write the integration is like this and find the values of the limits for the z and y on x. We and see the last line z is equal to 0 and z is equal to c plus x y. This is a limit for z c plus x y. How to find the limit of y? We have given y is equal to 0 is the lower limit. How to find the upper limit? We can see here a y is equal to b x. We find the limit y in the function of x. So, this for using this relation y is equal to b x upon a. This is the upper limit. We put here 0 to b x by a. How to find the limit of x x? Here we can see x equal to a and how to find that is z is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and z is equal to c plus x y. If we put j y x with 0 we cannot find here this relation, but the limits of x we can find this relation. If put y is equal to 0 we get x is equal to 0. So, lower limit is 0 s 0 to a x limit is 0 to a y is 0 to b x by a and 0 to c x plus y and we see that the limit in the function of x y. The limit function of x y remaining is z. So, integrate this integration with respect to z firstly and integrate this integration with respect to first z we get 0 to a 0 to b x by a c plus x y dy dx and integrate this integration what x or y we have two variables and the limit is x function limit in the function of x. So, you have two variable y x. So, integrate this integration with respect to firstly y. So, c y plus y of x y square by 2 and put the limit 0 b x by a dx and this have after putting the limits value we have only the function of x and integrate this only with respect to x and solve and putting the values limits values and get we get the required result a b by 8 4 c plus a b. Okay. We go to the next example, find the volume bonded above by the sphere x square plus y square plus z square to a square and below by the cone x square plus y square square to z square. This equation we firstly find the limit for z and the pole and in the x y plane we change the Cartesian coordinate in the polar form. This is an easy way to solve like this equation. So, for this we required like lines between x square y square z square and x square plus y square z square to a square. So, goes to z square to what is this z square to under root x square plus y square and z square to under root a square minus x square minus y. Using this equation find the value of z in the positive value because the figure goes to the positive coordinate. So, the j value is always in positive z square to under root x square by y square and z square to under root a square minus x square minus y square and put the value limits here integrations under root a square by y square under root a square minus square minus y square tz dx dy. The surface interactions by the cylinder. Okay. So, we find the interaction value that means put the value x square per y square what is z here? x square plus y square is equal to a square. That means, 2 times x square plus y square is equal to a square and x square plus y square is equal to a square by 2. Okay. We have find a limit in z in the using the this, uh, this equation and how to find the limit of x and y is not easy here. So, we change this addition form in the polar form. For this put s square to r cos theta, y square to r sin theta and solve this. We have the equation x square plus y square 1 by 2 a square 
and we know that what is uh, r square square to s square plus y square. So, r square to a square by 2 and r goes to a square that is a by under root 2 is get, get the positive value r goes to a by under root 2. So, r goes to 0 a by root 2 and this is a circle the inside the circle the total is circle. So, we get the limits is what theta is 0 to 2 pi then we put the limits 0 to 2 pi 0 to a by root 2 and we change the limits of z in the form of polar form in the previous slide here we have the limit of this is under root x square plus y square under root a square minus x square y square we solved it we did a square minus r square and what is this? This is under root r square which goes to r. What is dxy? In the previous slide we also said that dx dy square to r dr d theta. Put in this equation we get 0 to 2 pi 0 c a by root 2 r 2 under root a square minus r square d z r d r d theta put the place of d x d y and integrate with respect to z firstly z which is goes to go for the limits 0 to 2 pi 0 to a by root 2 put the limit under root a square minus r square minus r we get this next line goes to 0 to 2 pi 0 to a by root 2 and limits under root a square minus r square minus r r d r d theta ok. Here is the limits are constant we can integrate this integration with respect anyone, but we know that we has the 0 to pi by a by root 2 limits for r. So, we can solve this integ with, uh, integrate this integration with respect to r firstly we integrate with respect to, to r we get we goes to that a square by minus r square is 3 by root 2 minus 2 by 3 by 2 minus 1 by 3 r cube 0 a by root 2 d theta and put the values we have all values in the constant this is a the function is formed to a which are all constant we goes out outside the integration and this integration with respect to the theta and we get only 2 pi 2 pi minus 0 which 2 pi and solve this integration we have 2 minus under root 2 pi a cube by 3 which is the required result of the question. If we solve in the Cartesian form it is become difficult. So, in the x y plane we can just change Cartesian form in the polar coordinates. We go to next co example find the volume common to the cylinders. There are the two cylinders x square plus y square to a square and x square plus z square to a square. There are two cylinders we find a value on this when using this questions we find firstly the limit for z, y and x. So, we have what is this equation x square plus z square is equal to a square that is z square is equal to a square minus x square z square to under root a square minus x square is plus minus there are no restrictions goes to the positive side there is a full general section to z is z limit is minus under root a square minus x square under root a square minus x square. What is the limit of y? We using this equation x square plus y square is equal to a square that means y is goes to a square minus x square y square to under root plus minus a square minus a square y limit is minus under root a square minus x square under root a square minus x square. We have the limit corresponding to z and y. Now, find the limits corresponding to x. How to find? We have two equation put y square to 0 in the first question or put z square to 0 in the last question we get the limits of x. A put y square to 0 we get x square to a square x square to plus minus a the limit is minus a to a minus under root a square minus x square under root a square minus x square under root minus under root a square minus x square under root a square minus x square. This is the limit. Here we see that there is a last function limit is not a function of x y. We have choice then we can integrate with respect to y or z. So, we firstly we are the get go to the sequence we integrate this integration with respect to z then y and then x. So, we integrate this integration with respect to z we have 2 under root a square minus x square 
and we limit this x we integrate this integration with respect to y and we get 4 my times minus a to a a square minus x square dx and to get this integration with respect to x and we always know that there is a two limits there is a function is a even what is even function if we replace x by minus x and we get again f x this is function is even their limits are same and with different signs minus a to a different signs limit is same but function is even that the values is two times well, a 0 to a a square minus square dx and integrate this integration with respect to x we get 8 a square x minus x cube by 3 put the limits 0 to a we have 16 a cube by 3 which is the required result of the our problem. We go to the next example the sphere x square plus y square plus z square to a square is prescribed by the cylinder s square per y square ka whole square is equal to a square x square minus y square prove that the volume of the sphere that the lies inside the cylinder 8 by 3 pi by 4 plus 5 by 3 minus 4 under root 2 3 a cube. We have the sphere and the cylinder. First we find a limit in the form in the z and uh, we, we change the x y plane Cartesian coordinates into the polar coordinate in easy way to solve such like examples and we can also use in the previous example we also use here the limits of z are using this relation x square per y square per z square to a square the limits of z is minus under root a square minus x square minus y square to under root a square minus x square minus y square. Okay, we put here the integration sign minus under root a square minus x square minus y square under root a square minus x square minus y square dz dy dx. This function is even, so we can integrate this integration, we get 2 times the integration under root a square minus x square minus y square dy dx. We have the integration is double integration with the x y plane, we have the choice, we can solve this integration as well as Cartesian coordinate and form in the polar coordinates. But we change if the change in the polar coordinate is the way, so we change this integration in the polar coordinates. So, this is a double integration, the typical integration is used in the double integration, and we have the equation of cylinders x square by y square g square is equal to a square x square minus y square. We always is known that x square to r cos theta and y square to r sin theta and x square plus y square is equal to r square. So, put this relation here that is r square is whole square what is a square x square minus y square that means i square is common is cos square theta minus sin square theta what is this? This is formula for cos 2 theta that is made r for power 4 r square a square cos 2 theta. We always in the pole after changing in the polar form always remember some formulas cos 2 theta sin cube theta sin 3 theta if you always remember this formulas you can solve this equation easily. So, we have v equation have r square to a square cos 2 theta and we do always know that ds dy square to r dr d theta we use the Jacobian matrix we find this value. So, limits for r is goes to the minus a under root cos 2 theta to a cos 2 theta if put r is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 a square cos 2 theta is equal to 0 a is a constant a we will now be 0 so cos 2 theta is equal to 0 what well cos theta is equal to 0 theta is pi by 2 is 0 so limits goes to minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 put the limits in integrations we have 2 times minus 2 4 pi by 4 minus a under root cos 2 theta a cos 2 theta under root a square minus r square we change the x square minus y square r dr d theta we have the limit in the form of theta so we integrate this integration with respect to r we integrate this integration with respect to r we get a times 0 pi by 4 a square minus r square ki power 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 to 0 to a under root cos 2 theta d theta and solve this integration like this 8 by 3 a cube 0 to pi by 4 1 minus 1 minus cos theta ki power 3 by 2 d theta. Before changing uh, be, uh, before solving this integ integrations 
we saw we call we change the cos theta in the form of sin q which we, we we can easily goes to because if we reduce to 1 we easily so integrate this integration so we go to first theta in the form of sin cube theta we always know this formula and put here 1 minus 2 under root 2 sin cube theta d theta and integrate this we cannot integrate this sin cube theta so we use sin 3 theta we change sin cube theta in the form of sin 3 theta we easy so we change here 3 by 4 sin theta minus sin 3 theta by 4 and the form is easy way so sin theta is sin 3 theta and integrate this integration with respect to theta and put the limits we get the required result we want to prove that means 8 by 3 a cube pi by 4 plus 5 by 3 minus pi by 4 by under root 2 by 3. Because the last example of this lecture find the volume of the cylinder column standing on the area column to the parabolas x square to y square y square to x square as base and cut off by the surface z square to 12 plus y minus x square. This is very interesting example of this lecture because this like this integration also contain the how to draw the strip uh, parallel to the y axis as y axis is also used here. So, firstly one to the what is integration what the volume. So, find the integrations form is dz dy dx. So, find the limits corresponding to z what is the limit z is cut to 12 plus y minus square. We goes to the uh, this figure this is a positive coordinate the first coordinate. So, limits of z is goes to 0 to 12 plus y minus x square. This is the limit for z. How to find a limit of y in x? How? Where is the curves is given x square to y square and y square to x square. Firstly, here triple integration also reduce in double integration and the x y plane we find is use the double integration how to find the area and how find the volume we always know. So, we use the, the method of draw the strip here x square to y square y square to x square. What is the interaction term is 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1. We solving this is a limit point is 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 is an interaction points and there is a curve that is a x square to y square and this is a y square to x square. Okay. We have two choices if draw the strip parallel to x axis or draw the strip parallel to the y axis. If we draw the strip parallel to the y axis is easy and parallel to the y x axis also easy here. So, we have choice use any one draw the strip parallel to y axis or draw the strip parallel to the x axis. So, here we draw the strip parallel to the y axis. Here draw the strip parallel to the y axis is x square is equal to y, y is goes to x. So, we want to limit y in the function of x. The y's limit is y is equal to x square. The first limit is x square, other is y is equal to under root x. So, limits goes to x square to under root x. And what is the limit of this is limit for y? What is the limit of x? It is 0 to 1. And solve this integration, we get the required result. If we draw the strip parallel to the x axis, if we parallel the x axis, what is limit? We can also see here. This is limit dz dy dx and the limit of goes to 0, 12 plus y minus x square and the limit for x. Firstly, we here we draw the strip parallel to the x axis. So, find the limit x in the function of y. Here, y x square is equal to y that means we draw the strip here that we start left to right here is x square to y square sorry x square to y square the first limit is y square and goes to the that is x square to y that is x square to under root y the limit of x and the limit corresponding to y is 0 to 1 and now integrate both integration we get the same result. So, we goes first this is 0 to 1 in dx x square to under root x integrate with respect to z 12 plus y minus square dy here the limit in the function of x. So, integrate this integration with respect to y. So, this means 12 y plus y square by 2 minus square y 
and put the limit x square under root x. We get the all function in the form of x. There is a one variable and integrate this integration with respect to x. Put the limit zero to one. We get the required result. If we form the other other example zero to one and limit goes to, we can so see that in previous slide, what is limit y square y square to under root y y square under root y and the limit goes to 0 to 12 plus y minus x square dz dy dx in integration first integration with respect to z and then in is, is this integration with respect to lim limit in the function of x. So, integrate this integration with respect to y here the limits in the function of y. So, integrate this integration with respect to x. So, so uh, x and solve this we get the same result 569 by 40. So, in this lecture we will study how to find the value with the help of table integration in the Cart Cartesian coordinates, how to help uh, with the help of double integration solve the value, find the value. Okay, thank you.